Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we have something huge in store for you. We are viewing the Ivory House which is located in Wombardin. So this property is designed by the renowned developer called Cubic and it's a very high specification property. We have six bedrooms, four bathrooms, two half bathrooms, two receptions, a garden, a double patio, kitchen, and a gym slash cinema room. So guys, there's so much to show you in this property. It is located, as I said before, in Wombardin, and this is nearby Wombardin Common, as well as Wombardin Village. If you're looking to go into London, it is 12 to 15 minutes away from London and Waterloo. It is close by Wombardin Park, as well as Wombardin Park Golf Club. So guys, you have everything you need around this area. And if you want a more in-depth review on what it's like to live in Wombardin, please check out our video. I will leave the link in the description box down below and guys lastly we need to say a huge thank you to the listing agency which is Robert Holmes for allowing us to view this property this property is currently on sale for 3.95 million but if you are interested in buying this house please reach out to them their details will be in the description box down below so guys without further ado let's get in and view this amazing property so guys let's start with the exterior first of all if you buy this property you will have access to two off street parking spaces in this driveway over here you also have a dedicated area for your bins your recycle bins and anything that you want to keep over here so guys as mentioned before this house is called the ivory house and it's called that because it is the color ivory so as you can see the exterior is literally painted this ivory color as well as you can see some browns and grays as well that all integrate to give a very modern minimalistic look let's actually get into the inside of this property come with me first of all you can see how gorgeous and huge this door is literally i'm five foot ten and it still is so huge next to me so as you come in you see this entrance hall which is a very spacious entry hall you have a lot of like whites and browns keeping in with the theme of the outside but if we look up you will see this high ceilings and the amount of data that's coming through with the um, windows up top i really like how it opens up the space already and gives that kind of like airy feel so it actually literally sets the precedent to what you're going to see in this property because it's, everything is literally airy spacious and bright so let us start with the first reception area which is also a living room area so as you can see it's a very spacious size it's been staged over here to have quite a few chairs and sofas to create a very inviting homey cozy feel which i really love as you can see there's floor to ceiling um, windows and also there's a juliet balcony as well so i do love that you also have symmetrical windows coming down here and you also have an electric um, fireplace over here and i really like this area because once you turn over here you're greeted with these huge sliding doors which is just which just opens up this space even more you have your own patio over here that you can put some chairs some tables and make it a really you know sociable place so for you and your family to enjoy in the you know those late summer nights it you really also nice outdoor indoor feel as well exactly i love that don't you just love the outdoor and indoor look it just makes this place even more spacious than it actually already is as you can see over here you can get a view to the garden but i don't actually want to show you guys that yet we'll come to that later let me take you guys to the kitchen area over here is storage and also i need to mention that everywhere through the property you get heated floors so that's another plus if we open these doors over here you are greeted with this lavish kitchen how huge is this kitchen i can't even deal the whites and the browns with the, with the wood, it just makes this place so modern and so minimalistic. Okay, let's start off with this island because this island is huge. Like, when I saw it, I was like, this is crazy. So you have your breakfast bar all around here, which just wraps around the island. So you have enough room to put about, I want to say, around six, six to eight maybe um, high chairs all around this island. 
obviously you have endless <laughs> countertop space um, to you know host um, dinners host breakfast meals you have so much storage as well and you also have a drawer out cupboard for your bins which is a really handy as well as you have like a dishwasher over here a mele dishwasher and you also have a lot of storage space as well drawer space yeah, so, much storage. so much storage and it's just so crazy because you get an ample amount of storage on the other side as well we've with these um, war units. You have white countertops and a Miele induction hob on top with again, so many deep drawers. I really like the spacious drawers that it has. And what blew me away is the amount of storage you then get over here as you have your own pantry over here. So keep all your goodies here. You also have your own floor to ceiling Miele freezer. You also have um, a Miele microwave as well as three ovens slash grills. So you have a floor to ceiling fridge as well. And of course it's still keeping in with the Miele brand. So this kitchen is just everything that you would possibly need or want in a house. Okay guys, let me take you to the rest of the ground floor. I wanna mention that this whole place has its own security system over here. So you will be completely safe. <laughs> so over here, you have your own half bathroom on the ground floor. You have your loo over here and also a bidet shower. You have a huge mirror over here, which I love, it's always good. And if you just come around here, you're also greeted with a vanity over here as well as the led light mirror which is phenomenal also you have a frosted glass window to give you the privacy that you need check that out as well it looks like there's a bluetooth sound system wow cool all over this um in this bathroom that's amazing so cool and you've got spotlights at the top as well which you know just makes this place even more modern but let's get to the first floor. So going up the stairs, you see this wooden banister with the clear inserts underneath, which I really love. So when you come upstairs, you're greeted with a generous hallway, which I love because you have your own little balcony over here that you can look down and even just look across to see who's actually coming. Okay, so there's quite a few rooms to take you through on this floor, but I think we'll start I think we'll start with one of the bedrooms. So over here, this is actually staged to be um, a nursery or baby's room, which is really nice. You have all white painting all around. You have a Juliet balcony over here. So opening up this door, you see you have an amazing view of the garden over here. You also have spotlights going on top. And yeah, this is a really decent size room. If you wanna make it into an adult bedroom, you can as well. You could definitely fit a double bed in here. I would actually personally put a king size or super king size bed over here because you do have a lot of room. You even have enough space to have maybe um, a sofa or chair and an ottoman as well and have a wardrobe. So this is a really good sized room. So let me take you to another one of the rooms, which is actually staged to be a study or an office space. So I do like this room because again, you have a Juliet balcony um, and also you get to have a view of the street. You have a lot of light coming in through, coming through the windows again. And as it stays over here, you have a huge office, um, a huge desk area over here that you could have, and um, maybe put some um, pictures, some frames over here. And you can even just make this another room because again, this is a huge room. You can also fit, fit like a super king if you wanted over here as well, and then have your wardrobe over here. And again, you have all white, you have the spotlights, so everything looks very sleek, very modern. Let's go on to the shared bathroom that these two rooms will have. You are greeted with this gray, modern, sleek bathroom. So first of all, you have this white vanity over here, as well as this LED mirror light, which I love to just turn on and turn off. 
and then you also have your floating uh, floating loo over here with the bidet shower you have a rain for shower over here um also you have a heated towel rack so this bath is a vega bath as well as the um, loo is also vega and this vanity is a Duravit vanity as well so let me take you guys to the master bedroom which will blow your mind so going into the master bedroom, we have these two double doors. You're greeted with this tremendous amount of space. It's super spacious. You have the Juliet balconies going on either side. You even have a third one, it's literally, it's endless here. And you have amazing views um, of your garden and the garden on the other side. This is a huge bedroom, so you can also fit a super king in here as well as you have ample space. But what I wanna draw your attention to is this, huge integrated wardrobe with which i love because it's floor to ceiling you have ample amount of storage room coming over here so there's so much you can fit like you're not gonna run out of space here at all you have beige carpets on the floor as well as you have this huge mirror over here i'm not sure if this comes with the property i think it's actually staged here but i love again the white pristine walls with the spotlights so yes keeping in, in the theme with the minimalistic modern theme of this whole entire property this master bedroom obviously stays true to that so i think i actually almost forget, forgot the bathroom there so do you have a huge bathroom this is actually one of my favorite parts of the property because this literally is your own mini spa, basically. You have a freestanding bath over here, which is so modern and unique. I love this so much. So have dual luxury basins over here, a wooden vanity area over here, as well as LED light, well, LED mirror light, which is also Duravit um, um, branded as well. Coming over here, you have your floating loo, as well as your shower bidet. So everything you need, <laughs> if you need to go to the toilet. So what I love about this ensuite is that you have your own separate shower area, which has its own rainfall shower, is you have the frosted window over here to give you the privacy that you need. You also have your own niche cutout area to put all of your toiletries over here. So yeah, you can literally fit how many people here to have a shower, it's amazing. And I really love the textures of the tiles over here. Everything is very beige and brown, very white and sleek. Everything just looks very cohesive and ties in with the whole entire property. So yeah, I love this on suite, but let's take you to the other two floors, which I think CJ is actually gonna do. So let's walk. Hey guys, so I wanna show you the other bedrooms in this property. So if you just follow me to the second floor, what you'll notice is that on the stairs, there's some LED spotlights. So if you're walking in the dark, you won't get lost because this house is pretty big. Over here, you have this little knot over here, which could also do something weird. And also you can see as well, from this banister area, the downstairs point of view, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, you can see all the way downstairs to the lower ground floor, which we'll yeah. go to later. And this hallway is quite spacious as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is quite spacious. I reckon you could even fit maybe a small table here if you wanted to. A sofa area, I think, would be well, cute. I don't know about a sofa. What would you guys do? Table or sofa? Yeah. I think it's a bit tight for a sofa, personally. Do you think? Yeah, I, think I, I do. Like, you want to have a cup of tea and sit on the sofa over here. We're gonna walk into the biggest bedroom on this floor, which is right here. It's around 215 square foot. And as you can see, similar to the other bedrooms downstairs, lots of light, the white walls and the beige slash gray carpets really make these rooms feel pristine and immaculate. Again, you've got your LED spotlights and you can easily fit a double bed as well as a wardrobe here as well. So this is the only bedroom on this floor with an ensuite. So if you just follow me, it's extremely bright. The first thing I personally notice are these two skylights. Again, adding so much daylight into this ensuite. You have your bath as well as your uh, shower as well with your rainfall shower head. And again, we do love the LED mirror just above 
the vanity sink. So with the other two bedrooms, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, they don't have en suites because they are a little bit smaller, but they both share this bathroom, which is right in the middle of these two bedrooms. This bathroom is good to share. It's so clean, modern. You have your shower, you have your bath, very similar to the ensuite in the other bedroom. And again, very similar to the other bathrooms downstairs as well. So now we're gonna go to the smallest bedroom. But again, you could easily use this as either a single room for maybe a small child or an office or a study. There's so many options that you can play around with in this house because there's so much space. And now for the final bedroom on this floor, which is right here. Again, as you can see, they've had a double bed here, so you can easily fit a double bed. You can get a drawer, maybe a wardrobe. And I love these double opening windows as well. They open quite widely, so you can see onto the garden, you get lots of fresh air coming in, and this would be an amazing view to wake up to. So just a reminder, we are at the top of the house on the second floor. This house has four floors, so we're gonna go to the lower ground floor right now. So we are now at the lower ground floor. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you this loo right here. So this house has quite a few communal loos, if you've noticed. This is one of them. You've got your floating toilet, as well as your LED mirror as well. Everything you need to host your guests. This room has a storage uh, space as well to keep any things you need. I think that's also important to plug for it as well. Exactly. And this is a utility room, which actually has a sink. It has so many cupboard spaces as well. Um, this looks like a fridge, but it's not. <laughs> it just looks like it, but it has a lot of space. So now we are going to go into the gym slash cinema room. Personally, I would want this to be a gym because I think there's other spaces you can have to watch things. But on the floor plan, it says gym slash cinema room. What would you guys do in this room? Mel, what would you do? Um, I think I'll keep it. I think I'll make it a gym, I'm not gonna lie. But it's so huge. It is big. And this will be like the biggest gym space, indoor, indoor gym space that I've seen. Yeah, it is really big. Um, again, you can have some benches there, some machines, a running machine. And I also really like how you can access the outside by opening these doors. Again, you can't really go anywhere because this is uh, walled off. So if you did want to get some fresh air, you can literally, after literally after a workout, got some sweat on your forehead, you can come here and cool off. Yeah, really good amount of daylight coming in as well. So it's a good place to work out. Amazing. Definitely. So we're gonna head to the last room on this lower ground floor, which is definitely worth seeing. So we're just gonna open these double doors and we are greeted by this L-shaped reception room. Look how big this is. This is around 700 square foot. So it is extremely large. You have a section there where I personally would have a sofa there. And by the way, some of these boxes and sofas, they're there because this house is just transitioning tenants. I personally would have a sofa there and then a projector on that side, or you could even have a sofa right here and the projector projecting your films or your Netflix on this side. There's so many ways you can orientate this room. Yeah, for me, I would put a, like, a mini bar over here and then we have like a snooker table here to make it a bit of a games area. Yeah, that's and true. And then over here, make it like the cinema room. And what would be really good is that because we have the sliding doors over here, yeah. you can have the children playing over here, make it kind of like an outdoor, you know, lounge area for yeah, children to yeah. play. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah, I think there's so many options. This is why I love this property. So we're gonna show them outside, isn't it? Give them yeah, a cheeky, a cheeky look. I had to show them the garden, so you can do the audio. 
I am extremely honored. So if you just open these sliding doors again, they're so big, everything's so large here. I'm literally about six foot one. And as you can see, my head is nowhere near the top of this door. So you come out to this uh, patio area. You can have some outdoor seating here. Uh, you could have even a barbecue set here. This is just some storage as well, by the way, for the house. And then if you just walk up these stairs, you've got the trees in the garden as well, giving you some nice shade in this area. Obviously you have this lawns part of the garden. Just behind you, you have even another section. Look, people, some gardens in London aren't even this big but this is within your garden. Yeah. So you can have some outdoor seating there. Barbecue. Literally, and so many options. Yeah, and this leads into the kitchen where we were earlier. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Really hope you've enjoyed our walkthrough tour of the Ivory Tower. Again, if you are interested in purchasing this property, please reach out to Robert Holmes their details will be in the description box below. Make sure you like this video and check us out for more videos just like this.